It's pretty clear, judging by the amount of posts I see on social media on a daily basis, there is a huge amount of confusion about how exactly you pick which ND filter to use, depending on the situation with which you are filming. But worry not, because on this video, I'm going to show you three easy ways how you can easily make sure you select the right ND filter for the job first time every time and one of the best bits about it is it's so much more simple than you ever might have thought of so let's get into it now drone ND filters are big business and there is absolutely loads of companies offering them for you to buy so you're certainly not spoilt for choice. Now it's fair to say that one of the best in the business for filters are Freewell. These guys are the market leaders usually first with all the ND filters out on the market and basically they offer absolutely fantastic quality and choice. I use them on all of my drones and the kits I have here for the Mini 3 Pro is the all day pack, the bright day pack and the UV filter. Now these come with a choice of options such as ND4, ND8, ND16, 32 and 64. What I really like about this kit is the fact it comes with an ND1000 filter. This blocks out an absolute ton of light and is absolutely perfect for those that want to do some long exposure photography. Now the Bright Day Pack comes with the hybrid ND stroke CPL filters. The way these work are standard ND so they do block the light but they also come with circle polarizers as well which you can adjust just by turning this little knob here and what that basically does is it gives you all the benefits of the light blocking abilities of an ND filter but also reduces the glare on reflective surfaces which are absolutely perfect for filming over water plus of course the fact that CPL filters have been known to really bring out the blue of the sky. And just to make it so much more simple for you, if you are interested in any of the filters, I am mentioning it in this video. I will leave a link down in the video description so you can go get some for yourself. Now, if you don't know when, where, or even if you should be using ND filters, don't worry, because I've done a video on exactly this subject where I cover all the ins and outs of ND filters, telling you what, when, and why uh, you should be using them, or indeed when you don't actually need them in the honest truth. If you want to check out this video, I will leave a link in the video description so you can go check it out after this one. However, if you have already bought yourself an ND filter or decided that it's something you certainly do need and you just need that little bit of a push to figure out exactly which ND filter you should use in what scenario, then I'm going to show you the three easiest ways you can figure that right out coming up now. Now, one thing I do need to stress before we get into it, because this is vitally important, there is absolutely no right or wrong level that you need to set your exposure level. It is entirely personal preference in order to get the look and the desired effect that you want to achieve. However, that being said, it is always better to underexpose your image rather than overexpose it, as it's much easier to brighten a darker image than it is to get rid of blown out highlights in the editing phase. Now you may have seen tables like this posted online, however unfortunately they are of very little use. I don't want to dismiss somebody's work, but basically every situation and light quantity is going to be very different. So whilst they work as a very rough guide, the easiest way, which I'm going to show you, is actually just using the DJI Fly app. You see DJI have already given us all the tools we need within the Fly app to figure out which ND filter we should be using. Now, if you are using ND filters, you should be using the Pro Mode in the DJI Fly app. Now, once you set your shutter speed to what you want, you can easily see your relative exposure level using this figure right here. So since we have this brilliant tool within the DJI Fly app, we can use it to our advantage to pick our ND filter. Now, I'm going to be using this little light to simulate a light source to demonstrate exactly what I mean. So for example, if we want our exposure to be slightly underexposed at say 0.7 for example, once we've set our frame rate and shutter speed with no ND filter at all, you can see this is way too bright and the figure in the bottom corner shows us we are absolutely way over where we want to be. We can then of course to try and rectify the solution, fit this ND4 filter 
from Free Will. All we need to do is take our drone, twist off the original cover, and replace it with our chosen ND filter. And one of the best things about filters on the DJI Mini 3 Pro is the fact that it completely replaces the outer cover, basically meaning that you're not adding any additional weight, meaning that you will not have to sacrifice the whole point of this lightweight drone and fly it in a different category because you are over that 249 gram. So now we've fitted that ND4 filter, unfortunately that's still not what we are looking for. The ND Thor does not block enough light to give us our 0.6 exposure, it is still overexposed compared to what we are aiming for. So let's try the next step up then and let's try an ND8. Using the same method as before we're just going to twist off the ND4 and now fit the ND8. Now if we look back to our light source with the drone you can now see that the correct exposure we was aiming for has been achieved and this is been done using the incredibly easy method built in to the DJI Fly app. Now there is a second method which is also using the DJI Fly app and what you can do is turn on the overexposure warning and what this does this highlights the overexposed area of the image and it's also a great tool to ensure your image isn't overexposed however personally I'm not a huge fan of this method as the lines can be very distracting and doesn't take into account the fact that you might want to slightly overexpose your image. Now there is a third method for checking exposure levels using the histogram on the DJI Fly app but certainly for video as you're going to be flying around or the light is going to be changing its quantity and basically you're not going to have a static situation so this really isn't going to be ideal it's going to be changing constantly and it's going to be quite difficult to monitor. Of course this is only my own personal opinion and you are free to find the way that works for you out of these three methods. And just to rehash a comment I made earlier because I do feel it is vitally important always remember there is no correct exposure level you should be using it is all down to personal preference depending on the look you want to achieve for your production. Now you know exactly how to use ND filters and how to pick the right one for the job. If you did enjoy this video please do give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed already please of course hit that subscribe button and the bell notification for more tips just like this one. And also YouTube have slightly changed something now. They have got something called handles. So I'm also always keen to see your work. So if you have produced a video and you want me to have a watch just tag me at Gavin HR and I will go check that out and possibly leave a comment if I can but it's always nice to see what you guys are producing with your drones. Until next time thank you very much for watching see you again soon.